Hi, I'm Connor Milstein here at the WEC Method Lab. I'm from ISO Movement Systems based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm here today to solve some problems. Let's get it. One common issue I get all of the time is low back pain, anywhere from the sacrum all the way up to L1. All right, so one very easy and effective solution is to jump on these little wooden pieces right here that are called sole steps, all right? The reason that I want you guys on these sole steps is to pitch your weight away from your heels. This is oftentimes what I see in association with low back pain is a backwards weight distribution. What happens when that happens? We have this little tiny heel, right? Versus the full forefoot, little tiny heel, little tiny surface, very little surface, very much pressure, very much pressure, very much pain. So we need to get you out of that little tiny surface and into the bigger one on the forefoot, which is exactly what these lovely little tools are made for here. So I'm going to set these up. I have an option to take what I call an anchored rep. Not everyone has a lovely little anchor sitting here, so we're gonna show it without the anchor first, and then we're gonna go into the anchored reps. So let's go ahead and jump on these sole steps here. All right, I'm gonna have them right under my hips, just like in a neutral standing position, like I'm standing in line for a cup of coffee. All right, so what, this is, what you're gonna feel when you're on the sole steps is a forward and outside weight distribution versus a backward and inside weight distribution commonly associated with low back issues. So once we get you into that forward and outside weight distribution, we're gonna execute a pattern. If that pattern executes well without pain, we're gonna put tension on that pattern and run some intensity through it, which helps the nervous system write that new organization down. So let's go ahead and execute a hinge to start it off. My weight is distributed forward and out to the upper outer regions of my foot, specifically between the fourth and fifth toe, if you know what that looks like. So what I wanna see is a nice strong hinge position first and foremost. My heels are kissing the ground. They are kissing the step. There's no weight in them. You can see me lift it with ease without any change in my voice, All right? So my hinge is effective. I have no pain in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook my hands into this anchor here. I'm gonna get a light tug on that anchor and I'm gonna use that to increase my essential layer cues. What are these? These are gonna be my hip drive and deep belly draw combining to create a stable and pressurized lumbopelvic complex. From that pressurized hip complex, I'm gonna get good length from my head to my butt, and that length begins to tug on this weight. So now my forward weight distribution has some tug to it, and I'm gonna inhale, make some space along that length, exhale, let go of my anchor, come up to stand without losing my weight distribution. Inhales bring you down. I'm gonna stay for a couple rounds of breath as I tug on this weight in order to increase that forward weight distribution. My essential layer cues. Exhale, come up tall. Give it a go.